Leading off for us is uh, Rami Karjian, uh, a partner at McKinsey, and he'll give you their perspective and his perspective on BPM as a springboard to cost efficiencies and more. So without further ado, please let me welcome Rami. Thank you. It's, uh, it's great to be here. By the way, you, you know you've pissed off the conference organizers somehow when you get the right after lunch slot. So, uh, so we're going to try to do something a little bit differently uh, in the spirit of this being the, the after, after lunch slot. Uh, just quick introduction. I've been working in financial services about 15 years, almost all of that in some form of sort of lean or Six Sigma or BPM uh, improvements, and delighted to be here to sort of share, share experiences. I've got a couple of panelists that I'll ask to introduce themselves now as well. Hi, uh, my name is Bernard Borowski. Um, I'm director of the Treasury Project at the GE Treasury in Stamford, Connecticut, uh, and I've been involved in quality roles with GE for the past 12 years. I'm Farouk Kamayo. I'm with uh, PNC. Um, I manage a Shared Services Center or Center of Excellence for Business and Decision Management Systems. Um, we've been doing BPM at uh, uh, formerly National City, now PNC. Uh, for the past about four and a half, five years. So, so you'll find that the three of us have a, a fairly broad definition of BPM that we want to be quite inclusive around whatever methodology or philosophy behind that, whether it's Lean or Six Sigma, et cetera. Um, and what we, what we want to do, maybe a little bit different than some of the other presentations, is actually make this very interactive. Uh, again, it's a little bit of the post-lunch thing uh, and also a very nice way for us to, to learn together. So I'm hoping that I don't go through all my slides. Uh, and that we really, you know, you have questions, observations, please interrupt us. Bernard and Farouk will, will also jump in. So, so no need to hold, hold your thoughts. Uh, and in fact, in a, in a little bit, I'm actually going to ask you what your views are on some of the impediments to doing BPM the way you want to do BPM. Uh, and I'll, I'll set a little bit of context first, but, but have that a bit in the back of your mind. And, and the first thing to frame also our discussion that you see here in the title is it's a wonderful time in our view to be doing these types of improvements in financial services. And the prize here is really transforming the business and changing the way you compete. So as we're coming out of the crisis and everybody has cycled through the 10% cost reduction, the burning platform that we've got to get this right, we're having this earnings pressure. Now is the time to really say, look, what can I do, and it's not going to be an incremental project, it's going to be a journey that's really changing the way my business goes to market and the way I compete. And, and the reason it's such a great time to, to be doing this now in financial services, just a, a bit of a, a historical context, we came off of 20 years of this great rapid growth. There's a bit of a sense that you know, the tide lifted all boats. And then the crisis hit, and a lot of the boats sank. And the room has those who didn't sink and who were successful. And in the old world, the way we used to do operations and technology was a lot around how do we think about some very basic product design? Uh, how do you do outsourcing and offshoring? And everybody has their favorite story of going to India, right? Uh, how do we think about doing IT management? How do we put in place BPM, Lean, or Six Sigma? And you know, how do we do, we had a conversation this morning about shared services and centers of excellence. So this is, this is how we normally go do operations and technology. What we actually see is now coming out of the crisis and as a result of a few discontinuities, the way we do operations and technology is gonna change, which is why it's such a great time to be doing the types of things that you folks are talking about. So a couple of things, the way customers wanna be dealt with changes dramatically. It's much more interactive. The tolerance for failures goes down. The tolerance for low cycle times is disappearing. And your businesses probably are pushing you around time to market and being innovative. IT capacity and things that you can do with IT is very different now than even it was five years ago in terms of speed of processing, in terms of storage, and in terms of ability to get a single customer view. The other things to touch on is the increased scrutiny the folks are going to be under, given regulatory changes, internal governance changes, it's going to put a lot more controls, right? And you guys know what happens when you start putting controls on processes. They slow down, they get more expensive, they don't feel as friendly. So, so